Hello, welcome back to LT Thrifting. I'm Tom. I'm wearing a hat today because my hair is an absolute mess. Uh, so apologies for that. But today we're going to get into our finds from June that we're going to be listing throughout July. Um, mainly it's actually charity shop finds this month. They just really came through for us. Um, I think last month it was mainly car boot, sort of 50-50 between car boot um, and charity shops and a few online buys. But this month it's just been crazy with the charity shops and really good finds. So let's get into it. So to start with the online and car boot finds, this is it. This is the only things that we've not bought in the charity shop. And I believe we're going to have 28 or 29 items to go on this month. So this shows you really like how little we've got from outside of charity shops. So starting up is this vintage Roma hat. This was bought as a part of a bundle um, on Vinted. I think everything came to about £2.90. Um, not great quality. It's proper 90s sort of market stall special. But just a cool item to have. Um, probably not worth more than like uh, £10. Also in that bundle is this Ralph Lauren sort of fleece hoodie. It's on sort of the older 90s, early 2000s. Um, for Ralph Lauren it doesn't feel the greatest quality. I'm not sure if it's going to be everyone's sort of thing. Um, might be better to wait till the winter because it would have been like a fleece style. But we'll put it on probably try around sort of 18 to 20 pounds. The third item in the bundle is this really cool pair of 90s Fiorentina shorts. Um, Proper old school like training shorts, Italian football is Italian football items are really collectible on the old Reebok tag there. They are really quite big. I think they measure about 38 inch waist. They've got a bit of damage to the back, some loose stitching on the front, which isn't ideal. Um, if they'd been in really good condition, probably would have tried them around sort of like £25 as being sort of a rare collectible item. But with the damages, probably try them around 15 and the final item from that bundle is this Washington, I think it's Washington Badgers, sort of college sports team. Um, just It's just a plain Fruit of the Loom um, with an eye, big iron-on patch. I thought it was a proper embroidered patch, but it's just an iron-on. Um, there was some damage to a sleeve. I don't know. One of these sleeves has got a hole in it, which I attempted to fix, but I'm not the best at that sort of thing. So probably looking about £15 for that. And finally, the one car boot find for this video, and it's pretty average one, just a Lacoste polo on the Lacoste Live or Live tag there. Um, same as all other Lacoste polos, £15, so just standard price for them. Right, now we're going to get into the charity shop find. So these are all the bottoms, trousers, shorts, whatever, um, that we got this month. So... Um, I really tried looking more in the trouser rails. It's something for years I've just ignored. But um, watching other videos kind of started understanding the value of trousers and jeans. So trying to look through a bit more, familiarise myself a bit with those brands. Um, so first up is a load of shorts we bought. Just a nice pair of Nike light blue. Really nice colour on the old sort of grey tag. Mid 2000s. Just a nice essential pair of shorts. They'll go on our sort of summer store. Around about £15 pair of Umbro shorts here. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Umbro. I tend to ignore it. Some people are really into it. I've seen people try and sell these or, or sell them for about 20, 25. So the joggers and shorts with that big spell out. Um, again, probably try them around 14, 15 pounds. Similar to similar colour to the Nike shorts are these Lacoste ones. I actually bought these a few months ago. I bought them for myself. Um, but I'm a size medium, these are like an XL, and I thought I could get away with it, but they're just too baggy on me, but they've got this really nice tape in, and the logo there. Just a great pair of Lacoste shorts on the older tag, so that's sort of late 90s, early 2000s tag. Probably try around the £20 figure for these. And then, something a bit different, you see cargo pants, army surplus stuff everywhere, um, not rare to find it, and I don't think these are any sort of particular special brand. Blue ink, I don't, don't know what it is, but I, I just thought cargo pants or camouflage, it's always kind of in fashion, but at the minute I've noticed a lot more people selling it, so I thought I'd give them a go, but probably hoping just get sort of about £15 back for them. Here are a pair of Wrangler Chino trousers. Um, I can't remember what size they are, I think they were 34 inch waist, so a good size to have. 
Um, they look in almost brand new condition, but when I got them home, they've actually got a little hole in them, some stains on the back. Really not ideal. Um, it's a real shame to be honest. So probably just looks to get £10 for them. But whether anyone will even take them with the damages, I, I don't know really. Here we've got a cool find. This is a pair of vintage Tommy Hilfiger cords. Um, really nice, quite understated with just a little logo tag there on the pocket. I've had one pair of Tommy Hilfiger cords before which were from a wholesale box, um, which we have a video on. You'll, I'll probably try and tag it. But they were a navy blue, these are a beige. They don't have any logo or anything. They're not super sort of showy, which some people like to have a bit of a logo on the outside, but I think they'll still do well, about 20-25. Right, two more pairs of trousers left. I really did buy quite a few um, this month. This is just a nice pair. Marlborough Classics, sort of smart chino jeans. Um, again, good size, 34 by 32. Just a good essential size. All these trousers are probably going to go on Depop and eBay. Probably try these for about 15. But then the best trouser found is these beige cargo pants and they are Nike so you can see they've got a little tick there they're on the old athletic department tag but yeah when I was younger I can remember these being really sort of in fashion and then everyone and nobody wanted to be seen in cargo pants and now they're all coming back all of the trousers I've bought pretty much have been like a beige or nude colour because again neutral colours they seem to really be in at the minute um, so, but this is probably the best find, the right colour, right style of trousers and the Nike, so I think they'll do well, probably push for about the £30 figure. And finally we're on to all the tops and jackets here, good pile of them. Um, we're going to start with three football shirts, found them all in the same shop. Usually our local town is not great for finding football shirts, I think probably in the like, three years we've been doing this, probably only found about four or five football shirts um, but so to find three all in one shop pretty good going so starting with this really cool um, England shirt it's cool because it's got Gerard on the back he is my favorite player of all time so this is an absolute keeper it's too big for me but I just collect sort of shirts um, especially international shirts so this one definitely gonna hold on to next up is this early 2000s Real Madrid shirt I think it's the 2004-05 season when like David Beckham was there. No name on the back, plain on the back. And it's got a few stains on the front. So this is going to go in the wash. Um, but again, a good find. Probably, I think they go for about £25 to £30. Pounds, so we'll try around that figure. And then the next shirt, I was happy to find this. If it was my size, I would have easily kept it. But it is a double XL. It's just way too big for me. Um, but I remember this shirt with Torres and Gerard in it. Really nice one to find um, and really good condition as well. So this is probably going to be again £25-£30. Now into the other non-football related finds. Just this really cool um, sort of Y2K Nike t-shirt. You've got the sort of central print logo there on the darker grey tag. Probably try about £15 for this one. Could probably push a bit higher um, but we'll just see where I end up going with it. And then we've got a couple of funky shirts. So we've got a long sleeve here. This had a bit of damage on it, but this type of shirt, it kind of they are prone to it. Um, but again, that'll go on our summer style store. Most of our funky shirts we list anywhere from sort of 12 to 16 pounds. And then we've got, this is a brand I've not picked up before, which is Montaigne. Um, I've seen quite a few people wear it recently. I've seen some of the eBay resellers talk about it so you can get a good return on it. Uh, so probably just try around about 20 for this, see how I get on. Next is just a classic Nike um, crew neck sweatshirt. It is a smaller size. I believe it is a men's, but it's quite short in the body. So probably suit as a women's better. Just a good essential find. You'll always get around sort of, you know, minimum 15 up to sort of 25 for something like this. And then this find here was a bit of a panic buy. I just wanted, I was in a town and not really finding much. Um, I think it only cost a couple of quid, but it's just an official Ferrari polo. Nothing too special, you know, be happy to get a tenner for it, to be honest with you. And then another sweatshirt here. This is just sort of an essential Adidas one, sort of one you'd get in Sports Direct. Um, sort of a thinner cotton style. But a good find, really good um, condition as well. And I'm hoping to try and get about £15 back for it. And then here's the second funky shirt. 
This time it's a short sleeve one. I think I prefer this one. I like how it's short sleeved. I kind of prefer the design on it. But again, looking around about sort of fifteen pound for this one. And then this is something again new for me. Been watching a lot of the eBay YouTubers, which obviously I think it's like the third time I've said it in this video. But um, this is a fat face sort of flannel shirt. Um, you can see the tag there. So I was a bit hesitant to pick this up, but I did hear that fat face check shirts sell really quite well. Um, so I'm going to give it a go, see how we get on. But I'm hoping for about £20 for this. So we'll see how it goes. On to the final couple of finds for this video. Um, this is a really cool standout find here. Proper vintage 90s night jacket. On the grey tag there, I've only ever found one item in... Well, anywhere, to be honest, that's got this grey tag. Um, I had to pay up a bit for, I think I paid £7. Um, but it's so rare that you find something like this just sitting there in a charity shop. Um, and with it being festival season at the minute, if I get this on quick enough, I think, to be honest, could get around about 25 maybe up to 30 Because um, it is good brand, proper, true vintage, and a proper standout piece as well. Really like it. And the final find of the video, um, sort of save the best till last, really cool special edition um, Adidas track jacket with an I Love Tokyo um, print on there. You've got the Japanese flag there and these really cool bird design there. And then a big Tokyo spell out. Super cool item. Um, luckily this was reduced because it was really quite stained up. It had big orange stains all down here, a few marks on there, the nut, the, the nark, the neck <laughs> wasn't in very good condition but after a good stain treatment they all came out except for one stain at the bottom there. Um, seeing a few different examples of this go on eBay all around about the 50 to 60 pound mark so if we can achieve anywhere around there I'd be really happy with that. But that is it for today's video, probably this month's video. Um, I do have a sales video planned just going over the best sales from um, last month which will be June and also in the middle of a sort of car boot video we've sold at a car boot and we're planning to sell another one so it's just that sort of behind the curtain on the other side people have done it in the past but just thought it would be a fun video to do like I say I think it's we bought about 28-29 items this month um, not all of them have been shown um, I'm trying to think what else we actually got. I think the other things were like um, a pair of black night joggers. Um, so they were a car boot find. Um, a Liverpool jacket, which was nice, but paid up quite a bit for that. I think I paid about eight, nine pound for that. Um, so hopefully we'll get a good return. And I think there might be another couple of things that I'm forgetting as well. But um, overall, really happy with this month's find. And like I say, the charity shops just had an impressive amount of stuff. But looking at my figures here, um, this month we spent £78.93 and pence in total. And our potential sort of revenue is sitting around about £514. Now that's just um, an estimate based on sort of best prices. Um, sort of knock 20% of that for like realistic um, sort of taking offers, things like that. Then you've got to knock off like another 15%. Um, for all the fees and everything and any postage access. In terms of sort of rough revenue, if we can be getting back about four to five hundred pounds from all that stock there, be really, really happy with that. That'll be a good month. So that's it for this video. Um, if you did enjoy it, please put a like below. Um, if you want to comment something as well, I'm always happy to chat with you guys in the comment section. If you enjoy this kind of video and you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing because more people subscribe, the more it motivates me to keep making this video. So if you do enjoy it, um, if you subscribe, it really means a lot. But like I say, that's the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.